every year is different. Some years are really good, there's a lot of fish in the system. Um, and we can allow a lot of these fish to spawn naturally. And then there's really hard years where there's not a lot of fish in the system and the hatchery is gonna have a huge benefit. A 10% return of sockeye salmon to the Okanagan River has staff at the Okanagan Nation Alliance Hatchery focused on building numbers with their egg take and fertilization process. On Friday, staff were hard at work collecting eggs for mature fish that had been brought up from Oliver. This year just didn't really happen, so we ended up losing a lot of fish. So numbers-wise, we end up expecting about nine to 27,000 fish to be in the Okanagan River spawning. Um, in prior years, it's been a lot more than that. Uh, last year, our year before, was about 200,000 to 220,000 fish that we had spawning. This year, return numbers dwindled when salmon were held up due to a thermal barrier. So there's a certain temperature threshold in which these fish can migrate and travel through the river system, through the fresh water. Um, once it hits a certain temperature, uh, these fish do not like to travel anymore. So the Okanagan River being so warm up here in the desert and such a small system, we're very shallow, uh, channelized in a lot of the areas, uh, we do run into temperature problems. The work also stands out because of the importance of the return to the Silk community and the Okanagan Nation. Myself being a member of the Silk Nation, I'm a Lower Samil Community Indian Band member, um, personally, on a personal level, to do this work and have my small impact on our whole entire community, all the communities, all the public, everyone together, every salmon counts. So when I'm here working and making my little difference, every single fish counting, um, it, it just warms my heart really. It's the best way to put it when I can personally make an impact. For Gastet News, I'm Casey Richardson.